Hey guys, Mark here. Today we are looking at the Samsung SmartThings Home Hub. And to do something a little different today, I thought what we could do is set it up together for the first time and then connect this Airtek Z-Wave bulb to it. So the Samsung SmartThings Hub is a fantastic little unit. It probably connects to more devices than any other smart home hub on the market today and it comes at an, at an incredibly affordable price. The user interface is intuitive, the help and support uh, that is set up within the app is, is extremely helpful. It has Z-Wave built in, it has Zigbee built in, and it can, can control your Wi-Fi devices. It is also Google and Alexa enabled. So for the price that you get this for, and the features that are packed into it, it really is quite fantastic. This will be the fourth Z-Wave hub that we have in the house uh, to play with. If you're new or you're not really interested in the DIY thing, then I would highly recommend this straight off the bat. Today, we'll set it up together for the first time, this unit, connect it to a Z-Wave light, uh, and walk through the app and the different features that it offers so that you can feel really quite informed if you're gonna make a purchasing decision on this device on its own. So I'll switch over to my iPhone. We can walk through the app and the setup. Then we'll set up this Z-Wave bulb. Uh, and that should be enough to give you uh, really a, a good feel for, uh, for all the things that you can do with this amazing little device. So here's my SmartThings app on the bottom right. I'm gonna open that up and we can see my home, which was a default. Now the living room, I downloaded this a couple of weeks ago, so I can't remember if uh, living room is already there. I'm guessing it starts with the default room that we can work with. If not, be very, very easy uh, with the plus at the top right there um, to start adding things to the app. So what I would like to do is uh, add the hub itself. So if we come up to here, we can say, what do you want to add to this location? And it gives you a lot of options for, I'd like to add a new device. I'd like to add a new room so we can add the studio to that. Uh, add a voice assistant. So this is obviously compatible with Google Home and with Alexa. You can add a scene. So with the click of a button, you can you know, trigger a whole bunch of uh, things together, such as let's say you have uh, lights and a Harmony Hub connected to your TV. You can just hit power off and the hub will turn off the TV and the light will go off. And maybe you've got other lights as well you want to turn off at the same time. Automation would be more of an if this then that scenario. Uh, if it's uh, sunset or if it's this time, turn this light on. Uh, smart apps we won't go into today, uh, but you can explore those when you get yours uh, and uh, members that have access to the unit. All of that obviously relatively obvious to assume. So on the left here, we've got the hamburger menu, which opens up and we have a similar scenario. Obviously we've got all of the same icons available to us. We've got direct messages, uh, a how to use section, which looks like it's got a bunch of uh, easy, to, uh, easy help uh, guide, which is fantastic. Connecting devices, rooms, controlling, inviting members. So if you're a little unsure once you're in here, this is obviously really, you know, they've, they've obviously had some practice getting this right with each iteration. Now on version three, you would hope so. So now what we'll do is go into the plus here and then we need to add a device. And then if we go to the bottom there, we can see that we would like to add a Wi-Fi hub. But as you can see by device type, there are a lot of different devices you can add to this hub which is uh, one of the reasons that it is so popular and one of the reasons that it makes a lot of sense uh, to choose, especially if you're getting into smart home and home automation, uh, just because you know, you've got a, there's a good chance that anything you buy off the shelf is going to work with this unit. Okay, so let's select Wi-Fi hub and then I'm gonna select smart things. Now I do know already uh, that the device we want to select is that 2018 version 3P model. So let's select that and then click start. I'm going to install it in my home, yes, and not my living room at the moment, but I'm sure that we can change this over a little bit later. And let's go for next. All right, now it's going to uh, locate my home using a map. So I will edit this out for the video, but what it's come up with is obviously a uh, a map location view uh, which uh, highlights my exact address and it has got it perfectly correct including the number of my house 
I'm going to select next on that. Obviously, that's getting it from the iPod, I, the uh, similar Wi-Fi connection. Now, how would you like to choose to connect this hub, Wi-Fi or Ethernet? Now, this is unique to this uh, unit. Most Z-Wave hubs, as I say, you need to have tethered into your router. Um, so let's click next on Wi-Fi. Connect the included power cable. We have done that. Tap next when the when the L when the light is blinking red and green. And I'm not sure if you can see that. Next. And it would like to access the camera to scan QR codes. Okay. No problem. The QR code will be detected automatically when it is positioned. Now, let's see. On the bottom here, is this the QR code? Because I'm not sure I'm picking up what it's putting down just yet. There we go. And it wants to join the uh, Wi-Fi network, which is specific to the hub, obviously just for setup. And then what it's going to do is it's going to pass all the details from the Wi-Fi network that I'm on, that my phone is on, into the SmartThings hub. And then it's going to bring up the available hubs on my home network. So I'm going to select the one that's appropriate for my home network. I'm going to enter my password. Downloading updates. And hallelujah, we are finally done. So if I clicked done there, great. I'm gonna click on the SmartThings hub, checking out what it's got for us. Ooh, device firmware updates. I'm, I'm a bit of a, a device firmware updates guy. So uh, I'm actually gonna click allow. And I know sometimes that's bleeding edge because you might get a firmware update that breaks stuff, but you know, it's all good fun, right? Gives you something to fix. I'm gonna leave secure mode off for now. At the bottom there, you can see that it's got the Zigbee and the uh, Z-Wave Plus certification. Now what we'll do is we'll see if we can add a device to it. So let's turn off our LifeX bulb. Alexa, turn off the studio light. And we'll move that over out of the way. Now this is the Aotech Smart Bowl. Uh, they've probably got a similar model uh, available online or a newer model soon, if not already. Um, this is a brand new unboxing for this as well. This has not been used. Uh, so this is you know, very much like other uh, Z-Wave light bulbs, which surprisingly aren't as common as you might think. So Philips obviously come uh, with Zigbee um, and a Hue bridge, which can connect them all. My abode, smart home, smart security hub connects to Philips bulbs directly via Zigbee. The LifeX bulbs are a Wi-Fi based bulb, uh, so they have neither uh, Z-Wave or Zigbee. Uh, and this is a Z-Wave light bulb. So if you are looking for something specifically that's Z-Wave, here we go, a little manual here. An important notice at the top there that says read first. Uh, but the, 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 I, I don't know, I don't know, what, should I read that? Uh, it's been fully tested. That's fantastic. Now I've got a sticker on the top. So what I'll do is I'll plug this into here. We'll power it up. It's an A19. And there we go. Now I love Aotech devices. If you if you didn't know that already, the uh, Z-Wave range extender completely transformed um, our uh, smart home set up by ensuring that all our devices uh, react. Uh, very, very quickly and very responsibly. We've got a, a Z-Wave uh, range extender review on that. Um, the Z uh, the Aotech Smart Switch, we are also huge fans, own three of those. Uh, they're a fantastic Z-Wave um, switch for your smart home. Uh, also have a little USB charging port, can give you uh, energy use indicators by the, uh, by the lights around, the frames around the, the, the bulb, the LED lights built into the switch. Not bulb, switch. Uh, so yes, huge fans of Aotech. So let's um, power this up. So the bulb is on and a little bit bright for me. Let's go back to our app and click up the top here and say we want to add a new device. And I'm gonna do this differently and search for this at the top here. So Aotech uh, LED bulb six multicolor. There we go. Now, 
We are going to the hub. The hub is then looking for the device. Getting started with your AirTag. Start. Uh, select the hub and room. I will say sure. It's in the living room for now. Uh, again, because I haven't created any other rooms. And connect it to the Smart Homes Hub. Let's go next. Insert the bulb in the socket. Done. Power on the switch or the lamp. Done. The bulb will blink twice when in pairing, when pairing mode has been initiated. Let's try that again. Going to turn that off. Oh, now that's common A attack the way it flashes through the colors there. And let's leave it here and see if it gets uh, discovered. Successfully connected, as easy as that. So no problem there at all. It is an RGBW light connected. Uh, I'm gonna click done on that. And let's try powering it off. Wonderful, powering it on. As simple as that. Now with this, we can open it up and have a look at um, quite a few options that you can change. And again, there are a lot of hubs that you'll connect to that won't give you these uh, options and won't give them to you in such a nice interface. So we can adjust the dimmer. There we go, that dimmed quite nicely. Not instant responses, um, but again, if this is um, going through the Wi-Fi uh, and any cloud connectivity that it needs to happen, shouldn't really be doing that um, in our opinion in terms of the speed, but there we go. So we're gonna change that to green. There we go, green. Let's go over to purple. There you go, so lots of options there. Now, if we come out of here, uh, we'll then be able to obviously um, create a an automation so we can say that if at a certain time let's say if at 9 p.m. every night on every day except Sunday uh, every day except Sunday no let's just say every day at uh, 9 p.m. every day, or we could just say, look, at sunrise or sunset. So let's say at sunset every day, next. Then control the device. Let's turn the RGB light on, next. Tap a card to change its action. Brilliant, so we're done. Uh, and every day at sunset, turn studio light. So now we have an automation. So every day at sunset, we now have an automation that says, at sunset, turn this light bulb on. Lots of other features you can do. Uh, that's really all we wanted to look at today. Setting up the smart things, Samsung smart things, smart home hub, connecting a Z-Wave hub bulb to it, which we've done incredibly quickly. And then obviously you've seen in the uh, description of the devices in the app so many other devices you can do and there's really so so many creative things so you're probably going to be stuck at home at the moment what better time to work on your smart home hub set up some automations some scenes try getting a motion sensor maybe a couple of motion sensors you can walk around the house uh, such as i've got if i walk up the uh into the uh, lounge kitchen area in, and it's after 10 o'clock at night. A uh, bulb similar to this turns on at a low light, just enough for me to see around, find a glass of water, and when I leave, it automatically detects that motion stopped and it turns off. There is really a lot of fun you can have with a smart home hub. That was really just an introduction to the Smart Things Hub. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, put them in the uh, comments below. I'll link to all of the hardware that I've mentioned also in the comments below if you want to investigate it more. Uh, if I've missed something or forgotten something, please forgive me. It does happen. I do trip over my words. Uh, so, uh, you know, feel free to tell me that too. Uh, otherwise, give me a little bit of grace on that one. As I've run this cold today with, it, with a cold setup. Have a wonderful uh, evening or day wherever you are. And I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Bye for now.